Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3 if you are truly loaded and do the mad. Hi Lord of Flesh Savages, Flippin' in Birthday 2, Boxes Mad Man, Kudos Fucking This is 13, and all around you again. I just realized how many bloody times I've done this particular part. Oh. I almost lost those crystals. It is a silly place, this. It is. It has robots and assemblies and. Robot assemblies and alarms that go off as soon as an alien worker sees me. Actually, even before that, I'd rather alarms did not go off, but you know, that's just not the way of things here. There's still another worker around somewhere. They don't know where. Oh, she did. Would be useful. But since I, since I do not, I'm just going to complain about not being able to find any loot. Hey, workers. You can find loot. Look, loot. It's the workers that I'm missing. Oh, there he is. For some reason, it occasionally does not allow me to actually do things. But Did you get the alarm off? No, good. Wait. Did he? Something is cautious. Okay, the alarm went off. Okay, these three shots should do him in. One was enough. So that should also be enough for that. Good. Much nicer than the alternative of me having to actually figure out some other way to kill them all. Oh, hello. The last time I recorded this, uh, for some reason, two Guardian drones came out there. But usually I have had, you know, a Guardian drone and a support drone. Which was a far easier mix to take care of than the alternative, which I mentioned. Though when you have the ability to get the sneak kill, doesn't really make much difference. Only issue is you don't always have that opportunity. God damn it, they've turned off the bloody teleporter. Just as, a, as I was hoping to use it for quick transport to where I need to be. Uh, because that transporter goes directly to the generator. Isn't that nice? I could already be, be, be done here, you know? Instead, I'm gonna have to gather up my power modules. Can I go under here? No. Guess that's fine. Ooh, crystals. How's that not the one shot kill anyway? Something sees me. Something is very aware of me. I think it's the support line. I'm not entirely sure why my stepping is currently so bad. Now I remember. My lamp's on. Yeah, that, uh, that, uh, that would be an issue, wouldn't it? Yeah. Quite an issue. Alright, but I think the remaining enemies are all this way, so not sure why I had to be cautious. Why can't I get the stealth critical? Makes no sense to me. I was perfectly stealthing, you know? No, I'm not. But, you know, I was. Doesn't appear to be much in the ways of loot over here. And there certainly isn't much sense in going that way. I don't think I can get back out again, so... 
Yeah. Take aim for that dire direction. I think I need to do this. And then I need to do that. Then... Let there are enemies here. I'm fine, be that way. I have nothing against a few enemies less. Though I will remain confused. Oh. Right, they should have moved a little. That's fine. You're alive. You're not hurt. I'm just gonna disable some of these. Oh, there you are, alien. That particular alien is a bad, bad sort. He's the type that can uh, bring those bots to life, which is an issue. He's also the type that can line up headshots like a pro. Also an issue. No, 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 no. Wait, I can finish this with this content. Very nice, very nice indeed. Okay. Then I can finish that with that, I think. Or not. How did that not do? Seriously, what's your problem, dude? Why are you so OP? Like over level 20, I should be able to take you out fine. No, also, I just leveled up. That was oddly convenient. Except I thought I was still in, in paddle. Apparently, I was not. Okay, up my science as well. Who cares? Lockpicking, repair, and science are now maximized. And then just go wild with energy weapons, I guess. That's what I'm currently using, and uh, that's really, really. You know, easy to handle. Alright. And then what? Better criticals? I sure not. Why not? Let's do better criticals. Get that thing. How did that miss? Bear in mind, I'm, st I'm not really true with everyone yet. There is still enemies abound. Enemy enemies of the evil variety. They cannot actually vouch for the evil, I can vouch for the fact that they are of an enemy. Right. I didn't need that. I'm not gonna use the spoils anyway, they are kinda sh No. They have a tendency to get in the way. They're really large and uh, Tunnels here can't really fit two of them in a line, or even uh, one of them with me next to them. And as such, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and take all their ammo. And luckily for me, they won't complain. Okay, I think that's all of the. Inactive droids dealt with. There are still active droids around, so I need to keep my eyes open. Don't keep them peeled though, because uh, that sounds like it would hurt a lot. Can you even peel eyes? Can you see how many red dots there are on the ma map right there? Because that is a lot of them. I think a fair bit of them are up here. Like that one. I am not entirely certain why I'm stepping so bad right now. Because I already turned off my lamp. Hi? 
Why did you run past me? I won't question it for too long because otherwise we may get in a situation where I'm really confused as to why he would have done that. Huh. Also, I'm wondering if I can actually ask people to assist me now because when I last tried that didn't work. So I think I'll try the soldier for the area with the cryolabs. That could be fun. Yeah, let's try that. I didn't even realize there was still one up here. A good thing I didn't realize there was one up here as well. Don't stealth. Don't need to stealth me there, she totally result in a roll. Yeah. That'd be fun. I actually don't think there are many threats still existing, so... Activate the control. Activate the coolant. But the coolant probably needs to get up before I can make it go down. And... Watch the show. Boom. Well, no. Boom. Chaka laka laka boom boom. Boom. There we go. Now it's coming. Let's go. Yeah. Good. Nice. Keep an eye out for any enemy enemies. Does it look like there are any? What is this device even? Sometimes there are so many interesting things around that are really not explained to me. And also apparently the drone icon is supposed to be missing because the big boy doesn't really recognize it as a weapon. Honestly, I'm surprised it does recognize the disintegrator and the atomizer. Because that's kind of weird. If you take the comparison point, right? Yeah. Uh, I wonder if the teleporter up there is now working yet now as well, since I... No. I'm still gonna make the joke about the, the fact that I destroyed the generator, so now the teleporter was working. Yeah. Perfect sense. Okay, you. You're coming with me. Hurry up taking out that last generator if you can. I don't feel comfortable staying near that giant engine core for much longer. Uh, do you want to come with me? Hmm. Sounds like I may be of some use in there. If there are other people in stasis, I could help revive them or something. Just watch my back. All right, let's go. Okay, tell me if you need medical assistance. I think I'm fine. But let's talk to Samo. Maybe, she, maybe she works for free. I don't know. Hey, one Soma. more generator, and we can get to the top of this ship. Then we can hit the aliens where it really hurts. Which is the groin. Want to repair my stuff? Actually, I do. I used to tinker with all sorts of junk back home. I'd be glad to take a look at what you need fixed, but it's gonna cost you some caps. Well, given the circumstances, doesn't that seem kind of pointless? Maybe to you, it does. But hey, I gotta think about the future. If we get back down there and I'm broke, how am I going to survive? You know as well as I do that there are no handouts in the wasteland. Okay. Good. I'm glad we see eye to eye. Now, let me see what you need fixed. I was thinking of my Tesla armor. How is that? Anyway. Is it even still in working shape? Boom. Alright. Thank you for the time, that's all I needed. I wish he was a trader as well, so I could get that money back by selling her some itemizers. Alright. Now the Korean, idiot. Not too shabby, kid. Thank you. We're gonna go ahead and fight the good fight in this direction over here. That's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. 
the cryo lab. The lab where the cry. Brad, they managed to get myself not just a minute. I'm really poor at stepping right now. Hmm. I don't remember. Do I need to check down here first? Actually, I think there was a switch up there that they can use to do some things. Yeah, to open that door. But I don't know if that door is actually gonna help anyone. Doesn't seem to be much in it. Oh. Hello. No. I'm probably going to report the location. Hurry up, private. The military people are so slow to follow me. What's the chest? Alright. Any of these actually functional? Nope. I guess not. I'm gonna take the crystals then. Hello? Hello. Just a healer. Why not? I think I just heard someone. Of the alien kind. Alright, let's let us listen to this log that we just found. Oh, I see. Like a tape recorder, right? You just want me to talk. I can do that, certainly. Hello there. I'm Madeline Wallace. Of the Cincinnati Wallaces? Well, I'm here on this rocket ship. I'm with the strange men, the spacemen, the ones who brought me here. My entire family is on board, actually. My husband, Roy, my daughter, Margaret, and my son, Arthur, as well. Oh, you should see Arthur. He's so excited. He says this is much better than the things they show on the Captain Cosmos. And I have to say, I agree. Everything is so... Fantastical! I can only hope our captives have been talking uh, with Uncle Sam. You want some of this? Because with these two hickeys, we have the red feet in no time. <laughs> what the are those aliens doing in there? Hmm? Oh, I, I'm terribly sorry, oh, sir. I'm this? doing my best. Uh, I really don't know what you want me to say. If they ever will listen to this recording, I would just like to yourself in the same boat as the Wallaces. Don't be afraid. I'm not entirely sure what our host wants, but the situation has been entirely acceptable. We have been treated fairly. Anyway, the spaceman is waving his little electrical stick thingy. So I think I'm done. Goodbye! Remember, if the spaceman is waving his electrical stick thingy, it better be done. Hello, glowing one. I'm gonna let your psycho. So psycho. Huh. Alright then. I keep trying to reload, but apparently my gun is completely fine in its current state. Let's release this. Take that. Take that. Where's the support drones? Yeah, apparently, yeah. Okay. For some reason, I was expecting, you know, guardians. Can you fight a ghoul? You haven't seen ghouls before, have you? They're probably as uh, auto him as the aliens themselves. Perhaps even more so. 
How come these guys have so much ammo? It's like ridiculous. Look at how much ammo I have now. Look at that. It's ridiculous. Alright, um was there a log panel over here somewhere? Doesn't really look like it. Fine, carrying on. Very, very careful. I think aliens and we would like to make it so they are not hunting us. Hmm. Look at all these cryogenic chambers. They must be planning to fill them all with specimens from our planet. Yeah, probably. Alright, they released the captives, so they should uh, be able to do something in there. While I am just going to look at the spatula. Oh yeah, even the aliens know where it's at. Spatulas. I'm gonna take the spatula. They won't need it anymore once I'm done with them. Yeah. I have yet to hear of a dead alien that needs a spatula. A Chinese commander had. Why not? Looks spooky. Going to pick up all the interesting loots. Primary pre-war business fair. That's not gonna be of any interest to me until I find anything I can repair with that. But I don't know if there's actually if that's actually even possible still. I love Grim Reaper Spring. It is amazing. All my alien enemies of the alien kind just fall dead. Observe. But then I can just, you know, you do it again. Ah. Did you shoot someone just now? Because I don't see anyone you could have been shooting. What does this do? Nothing now that I have already unlocked everyone. Yes, that works. Worm food, worm food. And caps and power modules. Seems like these guys are really good at finding themselves some weapons to work with. At least not very bad, I think. Very good is kind of an exaggeration. But it gets the job done, right? Now to be very, very sneaky. Because I think we're about to transfer to another zone. Soon. Is that some kind of operating room? Wait a minute. What the? No. No! That's my squad in there. What the hell are the aliens doing to them? You green bastards, get your hands off them! There has to be a way to release their containment seal. Maybe there's a button or something on this console. How do you like that, you fox? How does it feel to be on the other end for a change? Well done there, Corian. Experiment on this. <laughs> well. Well done. Ah. A log. Why can't I hear this? Oh my god. No. I can't believe they did this to you. Why That's it. I'm sick of running. Let's finish these aliens off and get the hell home. This is really weird. 
I was only able to hear the aliens and not the not the captain. Private Lawrence Mears, U.S. Army medic, serial number three four seven six five one one. Private Lawrence Mears, U.S. Army medic, serial number three four seven six five one one. Fuck! You could do whatever. You want me, I'm not saying Jack. Shh, stick it where the sun don't shine. I ain't got not. You know what? Oh, oh, oh. oh, my gosh. Private Lawrence Mears. U.S. are a med medic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you get there? Okay, um Wait, I think that's some more of my squad. It's Daniels and Beckett! There's gotta be a way to revive them with their memories intact, so they won't attack us on sight. I think I may be able to use this medical equipment to bring them out of stasis properly. The aliens have already injected them with all sorts of compounds I don't recognize. I don't know how it will affect them when they awaken. I don't know what to do. These guys are the last of my squad. They're my friends. If I revive them, maybe they could help us. I'm not sure they'll last very long, but if we leave them... You saw what the aliens did to the others! Uh, huh. How long can they last if you remind them? I don't know for certain. I can get them on their feet and moving for maybe a few minutes at best. There's no way for me to tell what the aliens have already subjected them to. I can't understand these readouts. Their pain could be horrible. This technology is out of my league, so I'm just going to have to improvise. It's the best I can do. All right. Thanks. I'm really not sure what's best for them. What did you decide? Revive them and let them fight with us. Just remember, they won't be alive long, so we need to keep moving as fast as we can. I'm going to need to watch their vitals carefully as I use the medical console to pump them full of the correct fluids and bring them back. When I give the signal, you open the tubes with that switch. Don't open them until I tell you, or the results could be unpredictable. Unpredictable he means this. Okay, let's see. Think. This must initiate the thawing process. Okay. Blood pressure looks normal. Heart rate? Normal enough. Oh, I hope to God this works. Open the tubes. If I did everything right, they'll still be alive. Alright, squad, listen up. <sighs> I know you have no Houston. idea what's going on, but you just Someone have to trust me. My we insights. were captured by the aliens, the things that grabbed us from us? Anchorage, and now we're free. Here, take these weapons and follow me. Let's show them what some motivated U.S. soldiers can do. On me, squad. Let's go! Okay, let's put these guys to use. Wait just a second. Hmm. Let me take some of this cryogenic compound back to the engine core. I might be able to make some use of it. Okay. Ready? Oh, hey, what's up? You think anything in here can prove useful? I'm not sure. Some of this stuff looks way more advanced than anything I've ever seen. Let's keep an eye out for any kind of materials or equipment I might be able to adapt for humans. Okay, let's go. Sure, just watch my back and I'll watch yours. All right. Was there a console nearby? I just remember. I uh, maybe there was a console in the previous room or something. I recall a completely different situation before, from before because I didn't actually invite Elliot with me last time. Actually, the last two times I tried this because once I forgot to 
record audio, which is brilliant. And then the other time I decided I need to go back to no, the waste disposal. Is this their plan? To capture this many people from Earth? Opening fire! You okay? Looks like everyone's fine. Alright. What does this actually do? This switches out empty bots. No, no, that's not gonna be very useful. Right, again, let's just do this uh, as an active battle situation. Captive Lock 16. I'm Holly Barrisport, a linguistic specialist for the USSR. I think I'm beginning to understand you, but you need to stop shocking me. Cam, I wish you could understand me. Do you understand? Quick, find some cover! What? That's it! You get it! I mean you no harm, I just want to learn how to speak with you. Then perhaps we can discuss what you need from us. What are you doing with that needle? No! Get it away from me! No! Please! We can be friends! You don't need to... Ugh. What's this thing? Oh, I see they are released a super mutant. If not more than one. There's also someone shooting at me. So very intriguing indeed. I'm just very much interested in finding some loot. Anyone seen any loot down here? Still, it looks like there could be loot. Why don't we keep the super mutants? That's an alien, this is the super mutant. What? That wasn't part of the plan. Fine. Shit happens. Uh, I don't want your shock patents. <sighs> For fuck's sake. What the kind hell kind of shit have I picked up anyway? I don't need your shock patents. Oh god, I have picked up so many shock patents. Where did I get this from? I could do with a new disintegrator, I guess. The current one needs a little bit of repairs. Ah. Damn it, idiot. Where were you when you died, anyway? I assume that means the entirety of the US military is now dead. Where were they when they died? Is that more super mutants? <laughs> there you are. Yeah, it is. I didn't know to come straight for me. Oh, very nice. Okay, what are you? Oh, the generator. And the teleporter. I'm not gonna use the teleporter just yet, I want to look around a little. Hi! 
I'm gonna shoot you in the head. Repeatedly. Super Meat Double Law is a pretty nice thing, I guess. At least they have a lot of health. Is, sir, have you seen the corpse of an Elliot or any of the other military units? I kind of want their armor because I think that may or may not be nice to have in my collection. Or if not, their armor, I just, you know, want their loot. God damn, that guy had a lot of ammo. Alright, turning on the light. Light. Light, even. Turning on the light would mean turning on the corpse, and that's not really a very wise move, I think. Yeah. Seriously, where did the military put the corpses? It's not like I completely abandoned them to their own fate. Right? Should at least be somewhere in a sensible location. Unless it's right to flee, of course, which you, which they may have. There's so many dead aliens and dead people. Oh. And that's still just an alien. Hmm. Where are these corpses? I have an interest in these corpses that I'm unable to find. I have no idea where they may have tried to run or anything. Ah, here's Daniels. Oh, that's winterized medic armor and medic helmet. Oh. I guess that's cool. How heavy is it? Probably too heavy. Yeah, that's too heavy. But at least now I know what I had. I'm sorry, Elliot, that I was unable to save you, but I was too busy trying to find loot. As well, trying to unleash everything. And I guess I did end up unleashing everything. I guess I should have also looked into protecting everyone else. But I skipped that stage. Oh well. Yeah. That I guess it's time for your spacewalk. Lucky you. Yeah. I didn't see that cargo fella. Huh. How about that? He's gone. I didn't even notice. Hope he doesn't get himself into trouble. Alright. Yeah, sure. I'll keep your spot warm. I guess we're done down here. Time to take the fight to the alien. Sunny? Wow! You did it! Now you're gonna have to go outside of the ship. I know it looks scary, but that's the only way to the top. Oh, make sure you wear a spacesuit before you go out there, or you could die. Don't forget! Right, let's go out without the spacesuit. And the sender apparel. Spacesuit. Yeah, I'm gonna probably lose my fingers to frostbite. Or whatever we can find in the vacuum of space. Hey, don't forget to put on the astronaut suit before starting the decompression sequence. Uh, the what suit? The Astro? Oh yeah. But I am a big fat sinner at times. Okay, so. And it's most of my silliness that is of an increased size. Hello alien, you seem to be dead. 
What about the ones that were actually wearing the mat, uh, the big bowl over their heads? Are they actually dead too, or are they still alive? Because they sound like they may be alive, but I'm not entirely certain. This is a lot of ship. Uh, I seriously don't understand the design design decision when building the ship that, you know, one door should be behind. Whatever. That you can't go to the top of the ship through the ship itself and have to go outside to do that. It sounds kinda unsafe, really. Oh well. Am I going to space? Yes, I am. I think I am. I can jump. <laughs> if you jump, but there is no extra gravity. What are you? What did they just do? Was that the entire purpose of this uh, spacewalk? Closing the panels and... Securing functionality of the teleporter we were... Previously looking at? Are there aliens running around the tunnels? Or what am I hearing? Probably, yeah. Would make sense, I guess. Can't really see much in the... Oh, yeah. Look, an alien. Running around in circles, probably keeping himself in top, tip-top shape, you know. In case uh, any prisoners escape and he needs to put them down using only his fists. Which seems to happen very often in these days. Come on, keep yourself in there. Is that the last one? Oh, it looks like it, yeah. So I guess we're beaming in. Wait, is the ship been divided into two sectors then? Literally. With two... With one ship above another, basically. As far as the design goes. That sounds really weird. Okay, I think there's oxygen here, right? Right? I'm gonna test the theory. Nope. There was still no oxygen here. Goodbye, head. Also, how did they lose karma from... What? Oh, now we're compressing the air in. Okay. Why did I lose karma from exploding? Also, what was this profiteer? I'm back to neutral! Yay! Oh. Uh, that might mean that Hawks may not want to hang around again there. Unless I do something to. Go goody two shoes again. Hmm, my hand is cramping up. That's not nice. It doesn't really enjoy holding mice recently. It doesn't help that the mice keep wriggling around like living animals. I should stop using what my cat finds as computer hardware. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. You get the door. Hello. Sally, I'm, I'm gonna pickpocket you. Oh. She went away. Cannot pickpocket her anymore. Can I shoot you in the head without any 
I'm not quite sure where to go, but I think if we keep going this way, we'll find what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. So you whoa, hello. Why is that glowing so much? It's so pretty, isn't it? Didn't think I'd ever see something like this. Not really the time for gawking. Sorry, I should get the door. Hang on, okay? Hmm. It does look quite nice, doesn't it? So shiny, yeah. Uh. Do you understand what he said about bananas? So you didn't understand the word. Other than banana. Wow! Did you see that? Scary. But also kind of a stupid move on their part, don't you think? I have no other idea what he said, but he sounded pretty angry. I think he spilled his bananas. Oh, come on. You don't need to understand it to get the point. Some kind of a threat, and if they're threatening us, it's a good bet we are starting to scare them a bit. Now, you ask me, we need to find out what that was and make sure it doesn't happen again, but at least we know we're getting somewhere. Oh, wait. I didn't look at the death ray. Oh. Oh no! They turned this one off too! You're going to have to find the other end and turn it back on. You sure this is a good idea? I think so. Seems like they're getting even more angry at us. Are you sure that's a good idea? Okay. Gotta go to the weapons lab. I'll try and find, uh, bring back something neat. Hello? Hello? Anyone here have anything neat? Do it, do it, that didn't explode. So I'm gonna explode you now. Why did I hit you? This is so frustrating. Also, someone is aware of me, so... Uh, let's move somewhere. Oh, that's not gonna work. And uh, that's not gonna work. Are either of you a log panel? No. Can't really tell which ones are log panels just simply by looking at them. Can I shoot you in the head repeatedly? Can, but does it really do much? Why can't they get a nice little stealth critical anymore? I think they used the teleporter. Just to try to remove me. I wonder if the death ray is accessible from the weapons lab or do I need to go somewhere else to get it? Disabled even, but still, to get it. I'm having serious trouble hitting you in the head, sir. It benefit with this guy is the fact that he glows white when he actually gets hit. Is 
That's neat. I want to destroy you. Why did this guy have so much health? Okay, here we have an atomic pulverizer. That's probably one of the new options. Yeah. And another buttercup toy. I'm gonna take all of the buttercup toys home. So there is that. To look forward to. Which reminds me I should probably drop something useless. Like the non stacking automizers, yeah, that'll do. What else can I drop? There's a lot of stuff I have. I can drop a lot of them. For some reason, I'm not doing that. Where is the avian? Probably still chilling around upstairs, waiting for me to go to him. Seriously, the single hit? Fine. I get a lot of XP from giving these guys. I wonder how much they were actually meant to give before my swift learner kicked in. Hmm. Ah, we're going upstairs. It should mean being able to kill that one alien that was annoying us earlier. Nice view. Alright. Uh, just keep on moving. And be ready to kill everything. Yeah, that should work. Am I wearing my desert armor now? Alright, so we can get the stuff critical now. That was very nice. I'd say excellent even. Mm. Heals. Okay, what do you have for me? Power module? Uh, some sort of control? Why not? And the way downstairs. that passage. Okay, I think there's someone somewhere uh, someone else somewhere else as well. Oh, that's you. This particular option isn't as competent as the others, but we can just do this. For some reason decide that giving stealth to a less competent soldier means that the less competent soldiers should not use a very useful weapon. It's okay with incompetent people in yeah, useful weapons anyway. No one I'm probably going to get killed either way. Why not just ease the pain, right? Yeah. Get them killed already. This is not that like they're going to learn anything. I think I heard something. I want to... Oh well, that's a dead end. There was something downstairs. I don't know if that's a dead end. I need to go check there. Oh. Long walk across the ship. Making sure I... Kill all the inhabitants of said ship. Oh well. I guess they'll be dead. Oh well. I guess no one will really mind. Where's it one enemy we saw? Apparently up there. It's a support drone!
I appreciate the support, but you know, it's gonna be dead anyway. Alright. I was at some point hoping that this would be a much shorter DLC. And that I will be able to get the uh, Dwarf 101 next episode, but that is not gonna happen. No. I'm not gonna make this episode far longer than an hour. No. That doesn't sound very. very good an idea. But there you are. A little scallywag. It's so interesting when these guys are actually killable by one match section. Makes me very curious as to how much health each type of the alien has. We don't have any difference in their name, but we know there are differences. You know? There's the invisible ones. Uh, the invisible ones there are three types of. There's the one with the disintegrator, which has the most health, the atomizer, which is shite, and the shock stick that I, there is also shite. The disintegrator one that's really, really like a, a proper challenge almost. Stop picking up every goddamn shock bait and you find. Come on now. Oh, who is in Huntercraft? Yeah, abandon that. Um, I have a Lincoln's rifle and that's like OP as hell. Okay, um. I'm selling these fine leather jackets. Anyone here? There's a thing here. Log 24. <laughs> yes, that cow knows what's going on. Why do you have so much interesting stuff? Oh, this armor. I'm gonna see if my armor needs any repairs. Not really. Maybe I should just have baited with the whole thing and not repair that uh, the place where I had to actually pay money for repairing things. I will right with you. Just calm down. Here, have these headshots. Are you calm now? And it better fucking damn be. Yeah? Form. Yeah. Why are there so many grenades? And the Gatling laser. How's my Gatling laser doing? Does it need any repairs? Yeah, it does. Okay. Repair my Gatling laser. Um. And. Then what? When my combat shotgun is pretty broken, I could abandon that. The atomic pulverizer... Could do with repairs, but I can't repair it because uh, these atomizers are at full health. No, no, I meant you could drop like a thousand. Hmm. The issue is that I'm really, I really have a lot of these things and they all weigh a lot. Let's just get rid of the frag mines. Fine. And frag grenades. Keep the plasma ones. Because they seem to be the interesting option these days. No, don't tell me they were at full health. Apparently they may have been. It's so annoying I can't use a fully functional item to repair something. Oh, microfusion cells, yeah. Energy cells, sure, why not? I 
plasma rifle? How's my plasma rifle doing, even? And plasma pistol, for that matter. How's my plasma weapons? Uh, plasma pistol needs repairs, rifle's fine. Repair the pistol, then. <sighs> A shame about the rifle. They can't carry around this much stuff. Alright. Is there actually a drone in the drone pod? Nope. That's odd. What happened to your ashes? That is weird. So? Anything in this direction? Way up. I kind of want to explore everything first before I head on anywhere else. Destabilizer. Now this is something I wanted to get. But I don't know how... Um, what does it do? Bring on the cows! I don't think I can bring in too many cows. That cow has to walk out of the circle before I can bring in another, I think. Oh well. Guess that means not bringing in more cows right now. Alright, what are you? You're a healing archway. And you are... Oh! Why would I willingly let a... Raider here? Oh! Oh! You know what? You Raider guys, you just go about your own business. I'm gonna carry on with mine. Where does this go? Somewhere, certainly, but where is somewhere? Experimentation lab? What's this beeping about? Why is there beeping? Why is there beeping? Beeping sounds dangerous. Why is it beeping? Also, where does this go? With experimental weapons drone? Drone cannon XP. Ah. How broken is it? XP. Full health, so I'm gonna just replace mine. Where does this go? Nowhere, because this is powered. Okay. Guess that makes sense. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Stop pointing at me, I didn't do anything. Okay, I killed like a, like a million workers. <laughs>